Hello and welcome to whatislordosis.com. My name is Christopher Hall, and in this video, we're going to be looking at a little bit deeper into what is lordosis, or if you've seen my other uh, video on hyperlordosis, what is hyperlordosis. So, again, what most people think lordosis is, is this um, sort of um, excessive curvature in the lumbar spine here, but that's what the actual name of natural curve is, lordosis. Um, so what we're looking at is uh, hyperlordosis. Now, another factor in this um, condition, posture, whatever you want to call it, called hyperlordosis, is an anterior pelvic tilt, which simply means uh, the, the, the front of the, the hip being tilted forwards. So if you can imagine your hip here, or here, um, is like a bowl of water and you've got a pivot going right through the middle of it and you tilt the pelvis or you tilt the bowl of water forward and you're able to pour water out the front. That's basically what an anterior pelvic tilt is. And uh, that's caused by many, you know, many different factors but we're going to look at one of the causes and that's sort of what could be described as overactive muscles. And the overactive muscles we're going to look at is the psoas major here and the iliacus here. Now, as you can see, the psoas muscle, which is this muscle here, joins onto the lumbar spine on each of its vertebrae. Okay. If this muscle becomes overactive and gives the gives the, gives it sort of a tightness, it pulls, as you can see here, it pulls the lumbar spine forwards, doing two things: tilting the pelvis forward, but also pulling in the lumbar part of the spine. Okay. So what we've got to be able to do is we've got to be able to, in a sense, turn this muscle off. If it's overactive, it's turned on. The muscle is turned on. So what we need to be able to do is turn it off. So another way of uh, sort of overcoming, preventing, or um, sort of stopping, correcting this hyperlordosis is by turning off the psoas, uh, the psoas muscle and the iliacus muscle. Okay, so I'll describe how we do that in another video, but I just want to describe to you in this video the anterior pelvic tilt and again the muscles that are involved in the tilting of the or the pulling forward of the lordotic uh, area of the spine, the lumbar spine. Okay, so many thanks for watching. My name's Christopher Hall from What is Lordosis. I'll speak to you in another video.